We're here this morning in the Queen Victoria waiting room at Paddington Station where we're going to be perform performing a pre-Glastonbury warm-up gig to the crowds here on their way to the festival as part of the first Great Western Summer Track series uh, and we're delighted to be doing it as our first gig as a, as a signed artist to write recordings. Tuesday looked like rain. So Pacifico Blues here at Paddington Station amongst the trains, which is very relevant to the blues. It is, absolutely. Platform 9 is where it's all happening here in Paddington. Smokestack, Lightning, Mystery Train, Train I Ride, all those kinds of blues phrases that include trains. It's an appropriate place to play a blues gig, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a labor of love. The album is really a labor of love. We all work in the music industry and we play all kinds of different uh, music. We work with various artists, uh, session musicians uh, in some ways. We've been called that in our time. But this was something that we really wanted to do and uh, we've had a lot of fun doing it. We are taking it seriously. It's the kind of music that we love to play. But uh, at the same time, we want it to be uh, a, a bit of us and not necessarily only a commercial venture, so to speak. So there's some interesting takes on here. Uh, we do a, a Beatles song, we do Tax Man, completely different take on that, which is a lot of fun. And uh, a few originals. Uh, Damn, that's what I call the blues, is one, another one of them. One More Party, the title of the album is taken from a song written by Eric Steenkamp, which is basically a guy recovering from the last party and going, well, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just do it one more time and then I'm going to quit. And we all know that ain't going to happen. So. <laughs> so I think you could basically say it's some serious musicians not being too serious. Yeah, we're not taking ourselves too seriously, but the music is great. Some great guests on here, Jocelyn Brown sings uh, Blues is my business, and uh, which is a song that, among other people, was uh, recorded by Etta James. So it was a great tribute to Etta James, and coincidentally, it kind of happened around the time of her passing. So it was a, it was nice to have a chance to kind of do a tribute, so to speak, to Etta James, who's such a massive uh, influence. Anyone who's got anything to do with blues and R&B has got to have a bit of Etta James. In And this is good. 